Coverage is provided by Goodyear. Kick off your drive with tires that return superior performance. Goodyear is more driven as you take another peek at the lot where the cadets and midshipmen will gather before the march on to lead up to the annual Army-Navy game. Take a look at our Saturday selections brought to you by Chevrolet. And we are most pleased to have as our celebrity guest picker a legend in football and particularly a legend from the Naval Academy, Roger Stalak, 1963 Heisman Trophy winner. Not only his exploits in the football field as a two-time Super Bowl champ and a Super Bowl MVP, he also served a tour of duty in Vietnam. And Roger Stalak joining us here before the Army-Navy game. A couple of Navy guys sitting there together with Roger yeah. and Coach Corso. <laughs> Roger, how important is it to you to keep the streak going that the Naval Academy has? Well, it's a, uh, it's a, it's a streak the uh, longest in history. We, we had a five game back in the old days, and I think Army did too, so this is kind of unprecedented. Uh, uh, I sure want Navy uh, to continue the streak, but you, know, you sure don't like to pour it on either because we're all part of the military fraternity. And we like each other other than when we play on the field. Other than for that 60 minutes. <laughs> other than that, we, lo we, 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 we love each other. Yeah. Right, let's make some picks. And let's get started, Desmond. Uh, we'll start in the NFL. The Bills and the Eagles uh, here in Philly. Might as well start with an NFL game. That's 1 o'clock Eastern time tomorrow. I'm like? surprised the Philly beat the Patriots a week ago. So I think they got something going right now. I think that Drew Gallagher will kill my mic if I didn't pick the Eagles, so I'm going Philly. <laughs> One of our producers, which way are you going? <laughs> I, I agree with uh, Des. They uh, look good against uh, New England, so they're on, a, they're on a roll. I would rather not see them win, but uh, I'm picking the Eagles also. <laughs> Roger, I need to say this. In 1963, I was a coach in Maryland, and the coach can't see. You were the greatest college football player I've ever seen in 60 years. Congratulations, you were a great player. Well, thank you. You were the greatest coach I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going to Eagles. I'm going to Eagles because I like Coach Kelly. <laughs> For Des and I, we remember Roger as a Cowboy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cowboy, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cowboys fan too. Uh, I'm with you guys. I, I like the Eagles in this game, and, and because of Coach Kelly. In fact, if you look at the Eagles' schedule in, in their division right now. The team that ends up winning this is maybe 7-9, 8-8. Eight eight. I think the Eagles are going to find a way to win the division. I like them to win today. Okay, back to the college game and to the FCS playoffs. What about Northern Iowa and North Dakota State? You know, we love North Dakota State. We've been to Fargo twice. But I'm going with Northern Iowa in the upset. I think Aaron Bailey's going to have a good game at the quarterback position. So I'm going Northern Iowa today. Roger? Well, uh, Northern Iowa, they're 7-1 and in their conference. So they, they got a good lead, I think. Uh, I think they're going to continue and uh, win the game. Not so fast to both of you guys. Let me tell you one Corso the bison has yeah. grown from 300 pounds to 1,200 pounds. That's the difference in three yeah. years. That's <laughs> exactly. Corso the bison. Bear got a hold of Dez on Aaron Bailey. I, he tried to sell me the same thing. I'm going with, with uh, North Dakota and the bison strictly because of not just your, yeah. your, your bison, but also because it's a home game. Excuse okay. me, I got I to gotta go see a friend. Oh, oh, he's, out yeah. oh. he's out of here. He's out of here. I think we've, we've got hijinks and suing. That game, Northern Iowa, North Dakota, Kirk will handle his picks. Yeah, Comes I, up in I, noon I got it. I got it. on ESPN. What about the Colgate-Sam Houston State game? You talked about it earlier in the show. Sam Houston State might have better athletes, but there's just something about this Colgate team. Seven straight wins, all by double digits. I'm going with Colgate in the upset over wow. Sam Houston State. I got Colgate. Yeah. <laughs> well, Sam Houston State has uh, had a fantastic, uh, after they were 0-2, they've won 10 of the last 11 games. I think they're, they get the momentum, so I, I, I go with Sam Houston. Uh, Sunshine Scooter <laughs> says, Sam Houston State, Texas Athletes versus the Ivy League, taking the Texas Athletes. <laughs> I, I tend to agree with that analysis. Okay. Okay. I, I'm going to go with the Texas Athletes. I like Sam Houston State. And personal things. Caused me to take an exception. <laughs> about the Ivy League athletes. All right, Wisconsin Whitewater and Mount Union, they usually play in the championship division three. This is Simmons. Who wins this one? I play for the Packers. So I like to, you know, pull for teams in Wisconsin. I'm going for Mount Union. I think Mount Union is going to win a close game. Roger? Well, I, I, I think the uh, Mount Union is also uh, going to win. They're undefeated right now. I think they're going to continue to stay undefeated. Lee Corso says, Mount Union, they hardly lose. I'm going with them. Well, the interesting thing. <laughs> except the Wisconsin Whitewater. Right? Except they lost five straight to Wisconsin. <laughs> they hardly lose. But when they do, yeah, it's the Wisconsin Whitewater. 
Well, I'm actually going to go with Mountain Union. Home game. They've been building to the Stag Bowl. Yeah. I'm, I'm going with them as well. Okay, now I want to make it clear here on Heisman Trophy Saturday. I don't want anybody to reveal who they voted for. This is simply a prediction of who you think is going to win the trophy. Uh, we've got a couple of Heisman trophies sitting here with Desmond and Roger, each winning part of that Heisman fraternity. Who do you think will join you? Not who you voted for, but who you think will join you. I just think the momentum right now is trending towards Derrick Henry of Alabama, the running back. You know, he just, he's three for three so far. Uh, Thursday night, he won the dope, the Maxwell, and the Walter Camps. I think it's trending that Derrick Henry might win the award. Plus, he plays in uh, Alabama, and they get a lot of exposure. So I'm thinking maybe Derrick Henry. Well, I, I'm disappointed we left our Navy quarterback out. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> me too. The, 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 the greatest Navy quarterback. <laughs> I, I, um, I, I really like Der Derrick Henry. He's had a consistent year every game. He's, yeah. he's, he's tough, and Alabama's uh, wouldn't be where they are without him. True. Lee Corso true. says Henry broke the SEC <laughs> rushing record. He's going with Derrick Henry. There it is. I, and I like, I, thank you, Reese, for saying not who you voted for, but right. who you think may end up winning it. And I'm with you guys. I, I think Derrick Henry will probably go on to win the Heisman Trophy tonight. Okay, so Derrick Henry across the board. Okay, before we get to Army Navy, Bear, you've got one pick left on your board, a bowl game. Give the people some help. Last one real quickly. One thing Coach Cut hasn't done at Duke three years in a row, nearly won their bowl games. I think this year, Reese, you'll get to see Duke. Blue Devils beat Indiana in the bowl game. No shot. Wow. I mean, no scores do. Exactly. <laughs> All of those are <laughs> early bowl games, but there's still one more regular season game to go between Army and Navy. You no know, former Navy defensive end Tom O'Brien, also the former Boston College NC State head coach, recalls crossing the Walt Whitman Bridge, coming to Philadelphia for this rivalry. And as he was on his way over, midshipman quarterback and leader Mike McNallan turned to him and said, O'Brien, if we don't win this game, we're jumping off this bridge. For all the monumental tasks that these young men and women, uh, the ones who are playing or in the stands, will face afterwards, all it takes a backseat at least for 60 minutes for the one singular mission to win America's game. This is a rivalry that's intense, but there's a lot of respect, but it means everything to beat those guys. Beat Navy. Simple as that. Whenever I see that sign on the wall, I think about one thing that's beating them. Being in the top 25 for the first time in a long time, all the stuff we've accomplished this season, it just means nothing if we lose this game. Playing for your brother next to you, knowing that they're going to go into the Army, they're going to go into the Navy, and that, that they're going to be willing to sacrifice their life for you makes this game a very unique game. So much emotion and passion goes into the game. You lay it all out there, and then you're out there singing second and celebrating with your brothers. It's just a special feeling. Go ahead, huh? Yeah. Army, Navy, Dez, who wins it? I tell you what, Reese, this is a special game. It's like my buddy Steve Boucher says. It's the one game where everyone playing will die for everyone watching. Go Navy. Yeah. Roger. Well, Nick, Navy's had a great season, and I, uh, I think they're going to definitely continue it. I, uh, we'll, get, we'll get to my man here in a second. I, I think Army kept this game close. Nobody expected them to do that. I think Army keeps this game close again, but I got to go with Keenan Reynolds. I think Navy wins. And so we have one more to make a selection. Lee Corso, what say you? All right, as a former Navy coach, I am most happy to be here at the Army Navy <laughs> game, especially with Navy, a 22 point favorite, an easy pick. Lay the points. Go Navy, beat Army. <laughs> Where's that goat, Elsie? <laughs> yeah, livestock back here. Yeah. Usually it's a good thing to say that. I'm upset with you. But he goes on going with the Navy. Army, Navy this afternoon. Thanks for being with us. College game day. Sports Center's just around the corner. So is the way it's going. This.